Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Earth Juice. Now, September is the peak of hurricane season, yet this year in 2013, we have had just one hurricane so far. So we're gonna be looking at why that is and also the difference between hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones and tornadoes. Just a few days ago on September the 11th, an offshore storm in the eastern Atlantic named Humberto finally turned into a hurricane. But this is baffling meteorologists because by rights there should have been many more by now and 2013 had been predicted to be an active season. According to the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado, unusually strong winds have been blowing from west to east across the Atlantic all summer, preventing storms that would normally turn into hurricanes from doing so. Perhaps counterintuitively, hurricanes actually form best in calm conditions, when heat from the oceans can rise up into the upper atmosphere. But this year, those strong winds have literally blown the wind out of the hurricane sails. Another factor was the unusually dry air in the upper and middle atmospheres. Hurricanes are fueled by the heat released as water vapour when the oceans condense, and that dry air has been preventing storms from turning into hurricanes. However, those strong westerly winds are finally dying down, and it is that that allowed Humberto to turn from a storm into the first true hurricane of the season, with the potential for more on the way. All of which begs the question, when does a storm become a hurricane? A storm officially becomes a hurricane when it has sustained winds above 74 miles an hour. From there, there are five grades of hurricane, and the strongest, a grade five, requires winds above 157 miles an hour. So much for hurricanes, but what is the difference between that, a tornado, a cyclone, and a typhoon? Well, technically, any kind of circular windstorm can be called a cyclone, but it's usually used to describe a strong tropical storm off the coast of India. Hurricanes and typhoons are both formed over water and they are the same thing. They're just called different things in different places. In the Atlantic Ocean and along the coast of Florida where they typically form, they're called hurricanes. While over in the Pacific and around the Philippines, the same gusty phenomenon is called a typhoon. Tornadoes on the other hand form over land and they are born in thunderstorms. They often appear in Tornado Alley in the USA and although they are of a smaller magnitude than the others, they still have a huge destructive power. As they appear over land, more people have witnessed their fury, and their famous swirling funnel-shaped cloud has earned them the nickname Twisters. So fundamentally, all four are swirling masses of wind and water vapour, dust and debris, and each needs to be treated with huge respect. That's this week's juice. If you have any personal experiences about any of those storms, we'd love to hear them, so please put them in the comments below. And please, if you haven't already, do subscribe, because the other day we put Sam inside a 40-foot man-made tornado, and you don't want to miss that. Hi, I'm Sam. Have you ever considered how much a tornado sucks? Now, I don't mean sucks as in is bad. Obviously, tornadoes tend to be a bit rubbish. I mean, how much suction do they have?